been a while since I uh, I painted um, just so many things going on. Sorry about that. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna do another snow scene. And uh, this is just to show you uh, that um, not everything is just um, right on. When you take a photograph, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to do something to it as an artist. You're gonna have to make it work. So, first of all, let's go over um, this is my paint holder. I have my paints in here. I just take off the cover. It's ready right away. Um, I sell them. You can always uh, look in the comments to uh, find out how to get them. Anyway, <clears throat> the first color is titanium white, followed by ultramarine blue, ultra uh, cerulean blue, sap green, cad yellow, light, yellow ochre in this re in this situation. Burnt Umber, Bright Red or Cad Red Light, <clears throat> All Azurian Crimson, and Diacrylic Crimson uh, Purple. So uh, this is uh, 11 by, excuse me, 12 by 16, uh, Maysonite panel, painted with gesso, marble dust. So I prepared that myself. And I just sketched out the sketch. Um, notice what I've done is I've almost taken this half and half. The first half that's on the photo, I've switched over, put it here. And this half, I placed here. And the reason being is that now, both the buildings are facing inward. And so the design has to change somewhat. And we'll have to work that out as we go. And so um, I'm really not sure what we're going to get ourselves. So first of all, we're going to mix up some uh, colors. We're going to mix up some reddish tree um, a swatch. Let's uh, use, um, we're going to go with a little bit of burned umber, hill ochre, some cerulean blue, a bit. Uh, all is there in crimson. It's a really a low intensity uh, red. I'm going to add a little bit of um, cad red light. It's a pretty dark value. That's what you got to really mix up and care about more than anything else is the value. And um, So, um, let's go on to um, maybe the barn color. Okay. A little bit of all is there in crimson. Excuse me, burnt umber. Okay, so we got that. And um, I'm going to mix a little bit of sap green with it. Okay, barn. Let's look at um, some of the pine trees. Can you use sap green? A little bit of purple in there. I'm going to throw um, some olazarian crimson in there. And uh, with the sap green, with a little bit of yellow ochre on the side, we're just going to. Okay, so that's um, what we're going to probably have for the pine trees. Um, there's the yellow house. Uh, of course, we'll use yellow <laughs> and white. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of... Uh, So there's some um, uh, yellow ochre I put in there as well. All right. Um, let's use some yellow ochre over here for some of the stalks in the foreground and the corn. 
on the side you probably see some there um we're not going to mix this up totally so we just um put it over here all right so okay there's um there's the sky color we can mix up yet. Just a second, I'm gonna put, put put it on for a second. And um, we'll mix some sky color up. Okay, I think there's a little bit of is there in crimson in there. I'm gonna take some of this red, throw on there a little bit. It's uh, not too shabby right there. Um, I, I see some, I see some reds in there as well. Of course, they're very light. And um, add a little bit. We're just going to leave that here. And we're going to use that. Um, Towards the last. Okay, so, and also uh, some of this I'd use is pretty close to some of the snow color as well. Um, yeah. Now this is very unusual because this um, this picture. Um, when I look at it, I see that there's a, you know, the sky uh, value and the snow value is pretty much the same. Typically in a snow scene, the snow is reflecting the light and so on, and it's much lighter than the sky. Um, so we have to kind of choose that out. It's an overcast day again. That's one of the problems with this kind of uh, illustration. I mean, um, um, a kind of, you know, landscape scene. You're not always there when it's going to be nice and sunny out, but I do see in there some sun is shining. Um, and the foreground is in some shadow. You might, it might be very hard to see that on screen, but it is. So, um, we're going to go from there. So, let's begin. start uh, putting this in. I have a fairly large brush here. All right. It's a number six flat. So we're going to um, we're going to start off with the foreground trees here. I'm going to just, it's almost like scumbling them in here. Um, I'm just trying to find out exactly the right place to put them in. And then we've got this other one here, it's just even larger. This is a textured panel, so it's showing some of the texture right now. And um, uh, Put some in some of those trees in the background just a little bit. So you'll find out that what I've done is I've Taking what was on the left and put on the right. And what's on the right have been put on, I put them on the left. And um, so um, you'll notice how that turned out. <laughs> how that turned out a little bit. Let's see.
So we're just going to right now just kind of give a hinting in this of what's going on and kind of try to understand it a little bit. Just, just kind of um, trying to figure this all out. A little bungalow kind of thing there. Of course, it's more up to date than I want it to be. So um, we'll see what we what I do with it. There is a big, great big deck and so on out here. We're going to leave that off. Uh, we'll probably put a little um, something in the background here instead. Possibly right here, I could probably see some kind of a building or something. Um, we've got this um, building over here, of course. We're just going to throw that in for right now. Got this um, cornfield right here too. Now you gotta, <laughs> you gotta. I'm, I'm doing this. Every, everything is opposite and backwards from the, uh, from the photograph. So, you know, bear with that. So I got to kind of pull that together and kind of try to understand some of it a little bit. What am I going to do there? I'm going to throw a little bit of a Just a light, a little bit of light in there, and then we'll throw some of this. We're using a sky color that made for the sky, and actually throwing it right in here. <laughs> it works for right now. It's it's what I want to do. Notice I'm not really cleaning up the, you know, the, uh, using the same brush and it's kind of dirty in some ways for the other, but, but that's okay for right now. I'm going to throw some of this sky color in here, just going to throw it in here a little bit. Sometimes um, I'm getting kind of mixed up and <laughs> looking at it too. So, oh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. What, what's going on here? Yeah. So um, we've got this. Um, we've got this neat push right here, but I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to make a couple more bush bushes in there. Just to pull it together a little bit. And um, we're going to throw in a, you know, we've got this, we got this pine tree here. Got 
this pine tree here that uh, comes down here, comes in front of that building. And then <laughs> this same tree is, <laughs> um, I'm going to re -ish, reinstall another one right there, although it's, I've already drawn, <laughs> painted it over here, <laughs> that one, um, just to complete this. Um, we need to um, leave this in the dark right here. So, so let's see, does that kind of make sense? Does it look kind of half decent? Yeah, it's got something going for it. So, so I'm going to get um, a bunch of white. Here's some uh, cerulean. Uh, a little bit of that red. Um, I'm throwing a little bit of um, this is kind of uh, yellow in there. So let's. I just want to. I want to fill this up. I want to see what I've got here. I'm trying to figure this up a li out a little bit. So, yeah, let's see now. So it appears like uh, there's some, maybe I should use some yeah, okay. I am placing some, uh, there's a couple shadows in here. Let's leave those in. And it appears like there's a couple shadows. There's this big shadow on the right here and um, they're, they're closing in. There's, one of them is kind of this way and there's this big one that's over here and it fills up this whole area in here. So, um, uh, let's leave that in. Uh, I see some, some lights coming through those shadows. And, um, So there's a, there's this light, it comes right here. Right in, right in front of that, um, corn that hasn't been cut. And I'll just put that in there like that. Alright, I'm um, going to fill in some of these areas here. Um, this kind of looks halfway decent right there, so that's um, it's kind of nice to have that dark. You know, this dark is surrounding. This is ultramarine blue. A little bit of sap green and so on. Um, let's put this in here. It's 
So there's, there's, you know, these, there's it's a couple trees, a bunch of trees here that are all, um, you know, part of that grove, part of that grove there. I'm just going to ensure that some of these, the white, Yeah, that seems to be working a little bit there. Let's um, just pull a little bit of uh, the uh, this tree. coming around here just kind of throwing in a little bit of the um, yellow ochre <coughs> so Let's see now, um, okay, so we have to do something about this right here, and um, there's a, some darks in there. You see that that tree is going to stand out because I put all those darks around it. So there's some purpose to that, this madness. And so you got to think about all these things. And it's helpful then. So I got a good dark, a good dark surrounding my focal point, you know, and um, many, possibly the latest light, so I'm not too sure yet. So I do see this, there's a real light mark here. Don't know why that mark is there. Tell you the truth, but let's put that in there a little bit. There's um, notice the the snow up there on the on that roof. Do I paint it white? Nope. Still have the largest brush that I can get, that I have anyway right now. And, um, This is a little bit lighter here. We we'll just kind of put that in for right now. And we have the same situation going on over. Over here. So I'm going to cut, cut in there this a little bit. See a little bit of snow in the background or whatever. Um, I think I want to to pull this in. Just 
So we just put a dark, put a fairly dark, dark back there as well. This tree is actually in front of it the way it's showing. So let's paint it there. Okay, we got pine trees here and so on. We got pine trees here. What happened here? You mean no pine trees grow there? Well, it doesn't show it in the background. We have um, a, a distance there. We can see. We can see that the stove keeps on going and so on. But I think I like to introduce. I think I'm going to introduce a small pine. Right here anyway. And pull it in. This looks kind of contrived though. <laughs> so, so I'll uh, make it more perpendicular. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't want this to, um, I don't want this to seem like it's, it's like two, 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 um, paintings, one painting here and one painting here. So let's pull them, gotta pull them kind of together. Um, there's a fulcrum here. We gotta weigh it a little bit, so. I guess I want to put a little bit, uh, maybe a, a darker dark right here. Pull that in a little bit. And um, I think we're going to add a little bit uh, of, of that red, but, but blew it very much. Blew it very much and then put maybe uh, something way in the background. We'll blue that. Yeah, that might work. Um, yeah, and that would be on the on a hill or something further on. So let's let's use that there. Now I'm filling it in. It's pulling this together with this. Now we don't have a like a split. Don't want to split this up too much. So um, in fact. I'm going to blue that a little bit and we'll put one of these same types of trees way in the background. So for right now, we're just kind of laying, laying it in, kind of figuring out what we're going to do here because we're changing the original quite a bit. Appears like there's this is a building, and I'll just make it such. Back there, here we'll just show.
Now, as you can see, I've kind of left go of the original. And now I'm adopting this. Um, okay. We're back. In the meantime, um, about five minutes or so, um, I've finally been able to open this liquid <laughs> tube. Um, sometimes I hardly ever, I, I never normally use liquid, but once in a while I will. And this is liquid impasto. So I finally got it open with uh, pliers. And uh, we're going to continue on here. I added it to some of the sky color to increase the volume. And um, so we're going to uh, apply some of this now. Um, I've determined that um, um, these two are really close in values, but um, they're different in color. And um, we're going to start to put some of this color down. There's, this is a much more um, bodied, full body paint right here. Because we didn't have a lot of this down very good. So the, the rows, and um, I haven't delineated that yet, but um, we're going to get into that. I'm just going to kind of uh, take some of this and um, put some of this in. This in the front, in the front here, is um, yellow ochre, um, sap green, and ultramarine blue. So you can see that uh, kind of replicates that pretty well. As you go back, these things have to be get smaller, right? And because also we're um, we're sort of uh, if we're in we're sort of standing in the cornfield, and so what's left of it anyway, and so what's happening is these. These cornrows go this way, and then they diverge. So, so the mid, the the focal point, uh, uh, excuse me, focal point to the to the cornfield is probably right around here as well. So, um, that's the situation we're getting here. Um, let's introduce a little bit more um, darks. There's actually a few darks in here. those in right now. I am um, using just a little bit really more blue, blue in here and um, adding a little bit of burnt umber to that.
This is that shadow that's being from our back side. It's being thrown into the painting. You can see how dark it is to some extent. And we're darkening that right now. Now I allow once in a while, I'll allow some of the gray underpainting to uh, the, the brown to come through. So yeah, I'll do that. There's no strict rules to painting. There are rules in there. Every rule can be broken, though, at some point in time. So sometimes I put something in and I'll scrub it out. It depends. Um, and as you can see how I'm dragging, dragging this brush and so on, I am not becoming all that particular on what's going on here. You see it happening? <laughs> I am introducing a little bit of um, a red pink right now because we got all this green. I throw in some of this this pink. Made by Cadmium Red Light White and. And I've got some green in there to um, take down the intensity. I I might see something in the paint in the the photo, and I think, well, okay, I'll put that in. But then I um, I'll put it in the way I think I saw it. I don't concentrate too much on that, on what I've seen. <laughs> Again, that doesn't make does make sense to me. <laughs> um. Okay, notice I, I'm the general pattern I'm keeping, but I'm I'm breaking it up, but but still keeping the general pattern there. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose it. So you kind of, some in some ways, you feel it out. I, I want I want things to be diverging or coming into the painting, right? So um, I want to be sure that. Um, Let 
Yeah, I I think what I wanted I wanted to more or less converge over here and here this is coming across that so so I'm gonna change that. Taking some more of that, that pink and laying it in there. Okay, so, so, um, this is bothering me right here. Take out some of that. Rather, I'm going to be putting some lines into it. We're going to continue on here, so I'm going to allow some of this stuff to come into the painting in this matter, um, and also so I guess what I should do is to make sure that this uh, diverges into the painting. That seems okay. I'm putting a lot more paint on right now. And um, okay, I'm going to, I think I'm going to put in some larger ones here because they're up front, right? I was like kind of doing it, do it, uh, but practically a practically a whole pattern of yellow ochre there. So now it, uh, we're starting to feel it a little bit. I see that I could possibly show a light right in here and split a couple rows. That's okay. I like that. All right. I like this texture to be right in here. So I'm going to allow that the texture to just kind of center in on that area. Um, you don't have to spell everything out. So let's, um, I'm going to do this guy a little bit more now. The sky is um, a little bit darker up on the top. And then gets lighter down here. But also, there's a pink that's carried on right in here too. And I'm going to pull that pink down there.
Looks like a little mushroom cloud, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, we don't want a mushroom cloud, so that's good. That's sort of um, mill that in the background a little bit. That'll work. I sort of like that tree coming out, stabbing like that. I mean, uh, <laughs> the trouble is we're making a circular pattern here. You know what? For the sake of the Dagon painting, I'm going to have to take it out. Although I like it, I have to take it out. Right? You can see what's happening there. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, and then that. That pink is in here as well. And then diverges up to a green towards the top of the painting. pine tree is back there, so we're going to show it back. So we're just kind of pulling this together a little bit. So, um, let's see, see how that looks. I have to step back from my paintings every once in a while. Um, gives me some ice, some idea about what's pulling off, what is it, what's working, what isn't working. I think a lot of stuff is actually working here. You see, uh, there should be, uh, Something that brings me into the painting a little bit. So you can see that we didn't do much to this barn yet at all, did we? So, um, if the sun's hitting a little bit, wouldn't it have a little bit of um, orange character to it? Uh, we can imagine it does anyway. And I'm going to add a little bit to it. And I'm going to 
going to throw some Olazarian Crimson in the shadow area to hold that down. That's a because it's in the, if it's in the shadow, it's using the um, it's taking that red and it's adding a blue to it. So you're going to get a Olazarian Crimson like color. So that's what I'm doing that there. And um, because that's in um, in shadow as well, this is not that light towards the top. On this ridge line, there will be. So I'll put a little bit there, and I have to come back with that uh, ridge line and reintroduce a dark right there. I introduce this dark right there. That's pretty good. Um, the background, there's some something showing through here. going to allow that to happen. We can probably imagine that there's you're going to see a little bit of light through this area. Possibly right here as well. Not there. Because it's too close to the trunk. That won't happen. All right, um, I'm going to take some uh, ultramarine blue, and I'll introduce some blue into this area, just because there's a lot of shadow there, and um, you know, they're blue. Uh, I like to throw some blue into those shadows. like to introduce some, pull some of these reds into this area. Okay, maybe there's a bush right there. We don't know. Let's introduce a little bit more reds right here. And let's, let's go, let's go lighter on this. Just to, let's, let's um, add a little bit of yellow to that. good. Got some reds over here. Uh, it's not a bad idea to introduce a little bit some reds in here too. That's typically a good idea. Um, Sometimes uh, there's uh, going to be a ridge line kind of, you know, on these rows they stand out a little bit. And
Now this is an impressionistic painting. We don't want to get so carried away. Um, I'm going to leave this very impressionistic. We could keep on going and make a very realistic dry painting out of it. But then it's going to lose, it's going to lose a lot. Believe me, it's just going to lose a lot. And um, I don't want to do that either. We're going to uh, introduce here a little bit of uh, lighter yellow. This is the top of the corn. Some of it has not been picked. All right, um, this one has gone pretty fast, and I'm going to. Uh, just work on um, resolving some of the major minor issues um, and we're going to call it done. I'm changing from a number six to a number two. Um, it's still a Phillips. This is a Phillips, um, uh, but uh, this was a flat. Filbert, not a Phillips. <laughs> Not a screwdriver, it's a brush. Okay. So. Okay, now this looks pretty nice. I'm going to uh, put a couple lights in here and a couple in here. Okay, here I'm throwing in um, you know um, a little a bit of white as though you can see through it and it's not uh, a wonderful feel there but um, I'm leaving I'm gonna leave that background pretty much alone there It's very uh, broken, um, sort of hidden line, and that's what we want. And um, I'm 
I'm going to introduce a little bit of uh, So it appears like a row of trees are back there and uh, I'm okay with that, it's sort of like a hill in the background. I'm going to introduce a couple reds right in here. I'm not looking at anything, I'm just, this is just from painting many paintings that um, I see these things and, you know, why shouldn't there be a little knoll right there by this building? Could very well be. So, you know, I might introduce it. Okay, a little bit uh, more color in that one. We'll include some more color right in here. Don't want to define, we don't need to define much there. Some, you know, something's showing through. Look at these dots, three in a row, equal distance. Can't have that. It looks, um, looks contrived when you do that. So, you take them out. Just because something looks good don't mean you should keep it. Um, I don't like this one right here either. I'll keep that one in. And um, I might be able to keep maybe something in over here. Introduce a little bit more red right there. Just to pull this side in with this. Maybe a little bit... Um, more brilliant red right here. Um, I gotta tone that down a little bit. Let's tone that down a little bit. Just to pull these colors together, I like. Here we've got some over here. Do I see them in the original? No. That doesn't mean I can't put them in. Um, looking pretty good. Um, it shows here like there's... Um, And they just show like as though that there's some um, shadow in there. Um, we have we'll put a window in here. Just going to hint at a window right here. And um, Put a little bit of a um, little bush or something right there. Maybe allow it to have a little bit of red on it. Come back, we're coming back with a little bit of um, this yellow. I'm using more brilliant 
color now on this. I'm going to put a couple of windows in here. I think this is in the background, so I'm going to put um, I'm going to put some snow in front of it. see I think that's pretty much it you don't have to do too much more I want to check out these a little bit different a little bit more to really make this pretty dark in here. Let's introduce a couple more limbs. Right here, we've got a problem right here, so let's uh, fix it. Not too much of a problem. See, I, I don't think we have to do too much here. I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to and we're going to Let's see, I think that's kind of reddish. And um, I'm going to introduce a little bit of that in here. Reddish orange.
Okay, I'm going to make sure that this narrower here. Okay, I'm going to put, I just came up with this idea. Some kind of a mold or road or something to, for them to get in there. And I think that'll work. I'm going to um, make that more bluer though. And we can introduce some lights against that. So that there's the reason, you know, there's a way to get to, to the barn. Sort of thinking that might be it. I think I can introduce a little bit of light in this up here. But because there's so many trees around, you know, um, not going to be lit all the way. So that might work. You go up in the shape of the tree, see? And that works. introduce a little bit of light up here. And of course there'll be some This is uh, narrowing off a little bit too fast.
All right, this is the final product. Please let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, comment. Please let me know. I uh, want to know if I should keep on, you know, providing these. Thank you. Bye.